bringing up the nature versus nurture text. So could we all just refer to that, please? Um, this yes, this text. In my tracker, um, when asked the question, which um, question does this text answer? I said question three, and uh, we just refer back to question three, which states, how do different cultures train children to identify with and project gender roles from an early age? When we refer back to the um, nature versus nurture text, we see that um, the little girl is playing with a doll, which is, you know, stereotypical for a uh, uh, young female. Um, and we also see here that the, the father is trying to take away this doll that she was playing with and implement a fire truck also stereotypical for a male. Um, and I say it answers this question because it's showing how the father is trying to influence this child at a very young age and how, you know, the different stereotypes are, are taking place, even though you might not know, you might not be aware. I, mean, I wrote the same thing, but I said it, I, I'm, um, did question three, but only for the last four boxes. When he gave her the, um, the, fire truck, she turned it into a feminine, like she played with it in a feminine way. So she turned it into a, a baby while it's a fire truck for a boy. She babied it like it was for a girl. And so she made it like, the fuck? The father got upset about it because she said, my poor little truck, mama's gonna wrap you in a blanket. And that's what little girls, I guess, think they should play with every single toy as as, uh, as if it is a baby. Additionally, I just wanted to point out that in the first, in the second row, the first panel, where the father says, come on, Naja, you don't want to play with the uh, toys that reinforce preconceived gender roles, do you, sweetie? What he's trying to say is that, you know, like what should my partner here, Shade, will say, dolls are very stereotypical for a female and trucks are stereotypical for a male. So he's trying to, you know, um, debunk that stereotype by, you know, changing the toy and switching it up. So, yeah. Um, I guess, not since you're talking about question three and it's talking about training, um, if you want to question the text, you could say, why did the father choose that approach um, with the with the toy truck? Like, why was he so aggressive, knowing that the little girl is, is little and she's used to playing with a baby? Why are you gonna force a toy upon her, thinking that she's automatically gonna play with it the same way that he believes she should play with it? Like, he's even enforcing a gender role about being aggressive with a truck instead of like just playing with it, like with no with no emotion associated with it. Then, um, I really like the answer. I said the same thing for nature and nurture. But I also connected um, the transgender, the Washington State text, to answering question three, because it's basically talking about the new system that they're trying to have to influence kids from kindergarten up until high school. Why do kindergartners need to know about HIV and fourth graders? And why do they need to know like what a transgender is? I think they should only be worried about the alphabet. Um, I disagree. What? I disagree. I believe that by the time they're like in fourth grade or whatever. Um, a lot of kids who aren't taught at like at a certain age, especially like in fourth grade, a lot of kids who aren't taught may say something to offend somebody and they wouldn't know. So them knowing at like a young age makes sense. Maybe at like kindergarten might be too early, but in like fourth grade it makes sense. Um, I mean, it's like kind of like a weird feeling. Cause I remember when I was a kid, and like, I, I think like someone calling you gay it was like an insult. So like, like I, it's like, I feel like if you introduce that stuff to like kindergartners, it adds this whole new level of confusion that's like unnecessary. So it's, it's like, you know, are they old enough to know this? And sh like, the, not all the kids are the same. So like, there are some kids that might be ahead mentally than like 
or like ahead of the others, and then they would take it just fine as if it was like a piece of information. But then the kids who weren't ready for it would take it as this new level of confusion, which they wouldn't be like prepared to face because it's not like it's just one day. It's like this is something that has to be, like that they're being taught, which means they'll be taught over and over again. So, like uh, I like. And then would, like, the spectrum would increase on how much they're like taught um, per day, and the new things that they are taught per day. So it would just it would just add this whole new. It would just make it something that it just doesn't need to be at all. I mean, I said that the um, both texts, Nature versus Nurture, and the Daily Callers, Washington's teaching transgenderism to kindergartners, which is what we're talking about now, are connected to question three. Um, talking more about the text specifically. How do both of these connect to each other if they both answer question three? 